programmatic assessment route 7 track 2 our agenda includes meet our team objectives and overview of programmatic assessment definition benefits implementation challenges materials provided to our fellows in order to perform the assigned tasks I would like you to meet the working team on the programmatic assessment project team from the second year of the program starting humbly with myself Dr. Walid Arafat Dr. Amira Ham, Dr. Amira Hamdad, Dr. Alafazi, and from the first year, Dr. Hadiya Tahami. Under the wise supervision of Professor Abir Al Sadiq. Within the first week objectives, we have started with defined programmatic assessment and recognizing the outcome benefits of the programmatic assessment on students and faculty. In the second week, we aim to identify the steps for implementation of programmatic and to determine the challenges of implementation of programmatic assessment. The idea of assessment for learning is not new. In the 1989, Martinez and Lipson already proposed the concept of programmatic assessment. As through time with the emergence of new social constructivist theories on learning and notion of competencies as outcome indicators of educational process. When the call for radical changes in the way we set up and use assessment is heard in literature. In 2005, Van der Vloten and Schuert suggested the notion of programmatic assessment. And the question that comes in mind is to know more about what is programmatic assessment. Programmatic assessment is an approach to evaluate learners systematically and comprehensively within a medical education program. The purpose of programmatic assessment is to gather a holistic view of learners' progress, competence, and development over time. As we are moving forward, we need to understand some of the programmatic assessment methods. It is known that any assessment method may be used traditional or modern, objective or subjective, and feedback may be quantitative, qualitative, qualitative, or both. In programmatic assessment, each assessment activity is considered to be one data point that it is considered a box. The choice is determined by the educational justification at a certain point in the curriculum and its contribution to the assessment program as a whole. And each data point is optimized for learning, not purely for decision making. portfolio in one of programmatic assessment tools that the learner collects evidence of progress in a portfolio with reference to a verified database of assessment activity information. The portfolio becomes the hub of analysis of feedback, collision of learning plans to address problems and evidence of progress. A medical student's portfolio may form the basis of internship training, continue through specialist training, and be maintained through professional life as part of their registration. It is important to address the benefits for students that found mainly to enhance self-assessment and reflection, gives a comprehensive evaluation of competencies, and allows continuous learning, improvement, and evaluation. The program also has benefits for faculty members by enhanced teaching and curriculum development, stimulate staff creativity on coming up with advanced and smart teaching methods. The PA maintain a standardization and fairness scoring with ease to the mentor. Nevertheless, it grants a professional development and collaboration in which promise regular development and expanding of the program. Have you ever thought about implementing programmatic assessment? Implementing programmatic assessment is not an easy task, especially when traditional assessment models are firmly established. The cost attached to all assessments within programmatic assessment is only affordable when resource allocation is reprioritized to favor the assessment and measure the maximum educational impact. The infrastructure of the programmatic assessment framework included to reach the ultimate goal of stakeholders. That must include program in action, which require collecting information to be combined and value to take action. Supporting the program, which is specialized to offer technical and legal support. A documenting program for virtual learning rules, regulations, and blueprints. 
continuous program improvements by evaluation, closing loop, and strategic change in management. Finally, the accounting for the program to maintain scientific research, to gain external review, to build the cost effectiveness tools, and to offer legal accounting and auditing. For any new system, there will be challenges to apply it. At first, it is smart to use others' experience. Challenges overcome feedbacks that made them now expertise in pie implantation and developing. We have borrowed from University of Philinder. Uh, the Prido Center for Research in Health Professions Education tier experience on addressing the challenges as a reference of comparison. The center address culture, finance, staff expertise, staff buying the concept to apply, the resources, courage, and leaderships as decision makers, which it could be our biggest challenge in Egypt to change the system or to update. Some of the predicted challenges we might face are paperwork, time, personalization of benefits and accreditations. We need to know if we are going to face the same challenges and what is common and shall the same solutions work for our experiment. And what can guarantee us to minimize the challenges and make our experience uniquely successful? By training faculty members and development their skills to use the new system, resources allocation, applying technology in data management and privacy, continuous evaluation and quality assurance. Some examples of the materials handouts that will be provided to the trainees and upload the papers that have been selected thoroughly by our team. Some of them are required to read, others will be optional. PowerPoint presentations for every week covering the objectives of the week. Instructional video about programmatic assessment and framework for each step of implementation to help on guidance with programmatic assessment application will be offered. As we believe that the solutions are always come from within. Changing informs the more we overcome, the more we grow. At the end, I would like to thank you all for your interest and attention. And all the credit goes to the teamwork.